Today's hike was to Sedona. We hadn't had rain in Phoenix for over 100 days, and the forecast there was rain. So we headed to the West Fork Trail, one that we have hiked before. If you maybe recall in the fall, we went to see all the fall colors. Of course, the leaves are spectacular. For those that think we don't get fall colors in Arizona, you need to go visit. At any rate, we wanted to see what it would look like in the summer. We knew we wouldn't get these vivid colors, but it's still a spectacular place to go. At the start of the hike, you see some of the remains of buildings from earlier settlers. Kind of cool to see. And the neat thing, these settlers also planted a number of different berries and different fruit trees. So you'll come across apple trees, pear trees, plum trees, and I'm sure some others. This is Kelly, I think, picking an apple. I tried this apple, but it was still a little green. Um, need to wait a little longer for them to ripen up. But some of the other fruit was good. The plums were ripe and tasty. And if you search a little bit, you could also find some of the uh, berries that were ripe. I didn't happen to try a pear, but I think Kelly said they were good. But you can't trust everything he said. Let's hear him describe poison yeah. ivy. So my keen eye observed drops on top of this poison ivy. I wonder what happened? What would have caused those drops? Then I realized there was a sprinkle, a little rain shower. We you were, were supposed to describe poison ivy and how you can see the berries. There's the poison ivy. And you didn't it's tell the me. Three you said you're narrating. You know what? I'm done. I quit. I retire. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> but of course he wasn't. On the trail, there are a number of locations where he crossed the stream. Kelly's going to show how it's done. Be careful walking on that log. Don't fall off. Whoops. A little step back. But he jumps right back on the log. Makes a fancy little spin move. And over the creek he goes. Even without fall colors, you still get colors from some of the flowers. And, of course, one of my favorite things, I think, is just all the ferns and seeing the trees and the greenery. Just spectacular scenery. In the creek, you'll see a number of tadpoles that are in various stages of metamorphosis. It's a popular trail and a lot of people will stop at some of the swimming holes. Fortunately, most of them don't continue on down the trail. Yep. taking a video. Oh. You can't act like you're holding it up. I got you before you were Watch there. What's this? Woo. Magic. David Blaine, nothing on me. Not too many people go beyond three and a half miles because at that point you're hiking through water. Of course that's where some of the best scenery is and if you want to camp it's, oh, I forget about, oh, two and three quarters mile farther on down the, down the river to get to where you can spend the night and set up your tent and camp. Of course, along the way, there are a number of locations that are great to relax and just enjoy the scenery. There's Kelly just on the bank looking up at the clouds, the canyon, the trees. It's worth it just to, to lay there and dream.
Kelly found this little checkered garter snake. We captured it, took a few photos, and then of course released it where we'd found it. Here it crawls from the ground back into the water, probably looking for fish. We were hoping to find an Arizona mountain king snake or even a narrow-headed garter snake. But I guess that checkered garter snake will have to do on this trip. As you can hear, walking through the water, Kelly's up ahead. Canyon goes clear up, just a spectacular area. Bunch of fish swimming away. After three and a half miles on dry land, walking through the water actually was very refreshing. Cool, and kind of rejuvenated you, gave you a new motivation to go further. Well, Kelly slept, I enjoyed the colorful rock, just spectacular looking. And then I laid down and enjoyed the view that Kelly was having, looking up at the clouds, up at the rocks, along the creek. I'll tell you, sand was cool, cool water, sure beats the Phoenix heat. Lots of cool little spots to see, but we knew it was about time to go back. Two reasons. One, the rain started to come. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at the water, it's raining on us now. Jerry said it all. It's raining. Rain's coming down now. You can see the raindrops in the water. second reason I knew it was time to head back, the battery in my cell phone died, so I couldn't take any more pictures of the rock as it became even more vivid as the rain soaked in. But it was a spectacular hike out and back. Highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. I guess I could also mention that the parking lot's oftentimes full, but there's overflow parking just a little bit up the road on the side of the street. So you save parking, but you still have to pay a couple bucks to get into the park. And you too can enjoy this beautiful hike, whether spring, fall, or summer, it's worth it.